Home care is the where is where people want to be, and it's where people we want to deinstitutionalize people. That's like the going trend. Nancy Lurch has only been a nurse here since April. She says it's been both an enjoyable and eye-opening experience. In the hospital, we were pushing to get people out and saying go home, and now we're catching them and saying, I can't believe they're going home at this illness. She says more people need home care because of the way society has changed. Years and years ago, you lived next door to grandma and grandpa, and they, you know, you kind of brought them into your house, and you lived multi generations. People don't do that so much anymore. There are more people that are alone, that don't have any of those those um, crutches to lean on. Thank you. Deborah Bowers is the vice president in charge of home care. She says this isn't the right place for Medicare to save money. It's far less costly to provide services in a home than it is to go to the hospital or a nursing home. Chemist says her department can't sustain these kinds of cuts. So we're going to either lose therapists because we're not able to pay them the money that they need, the patients aren't going to get the rehab that they deserve, and we're going to get more patients that are hospitalized because they aren't able to care for themselves within their home. And one common theme here seems to be confusion at how a bill that aims to improve health care can leave them with fewer resources. For there not to be the revenue to support home care, is for patients not to get the quality of care that they deserve. Why do we keep cutting irresponsibly? Because in fact the need is growing. I don't know that answer.